Well, welcome to my new series that I'm planning on uh, doing from now on. Um, it's called uh, Dollar Store Gumpla Tools. So it's going to be number one. So basically, when I go to Dollar Store from time to time, I look for stuff that I can use uh, for Gumpla or modeling in general. So first up, I'm pretty sure any uh, mid mid to high end modeler they probably use this. Um, Yep, just a clip. These are very good for uh, holding two parts together when you're uh, gluing them. Instead of, you know, holding them down with your hand, because then your hands are tied up and you can't do anything else. Uh, yeah, you can also use a rubber band too, obviously, but this is faster. And also when you're painting and um, if you need to hold something, you can use these too, to, you know, have an extra grip. These are the smaller type, dollar, and these are the bigger type, again, dollar. And I also found these um, in the dollar store. Well, they're dollar fifty, but uh, yeah, it's a marker set. And why do I need this? Well, when you're painting um, the clear pieces in double O series, for example, you can use the green for the, you know, painting it over. Um, Yes, much cheaper than Sharpie, so there we go. This is, uh, I'll get to this in a moment. Then I bought these. Uh, they're actually, they came in a, together in one pack, like two markers in one pack. So these are also, from, um, they were a dollar, uh, two for a dollar. And these are basically apparently a metallic permanent marker gold and silver now I haven't even tried these so I have no idea if these will actually work on a plastic model kit that is not primed or you know that is just just came out of the runner so uh, since I don't have any junk Gundam in handy every time I buy LBX kit they come with these uh, rolling dice but the plastic that they're made uh, from is the same material that Bandai use for their plastic model. So basically same mold release and everything. So again, I didn't do anything to this, so I'm going to try to see if I can paint this plastic with these. If I can, that means I can paint any Gunpla kit, or any Bandai kit for that matter. And what the hell is this uh, weird looking thing? Well, every time I buy Revolt Tech, they usually come with the uh, action base that sometimes I don't use. I use them for my Gundam, and then those action base usually also come with connecting piece like this, this clear red thing right here, to make the, I guess, I don't know, if you want to pose your uh, kit, you can have this on the back. Anywho, they also come with these extra joints, like a spare joints, but since I don't really play with my kit, chance of me breaking my uh, normal joint is really low, so, um, and this is uh, the part box that usually most Revolt Tech come with it. And, uh, and I thought to myself, wait a minute. If I put this on the part and connect this and this, I just have myself an action base for SD kit. And yes, I did try this with the uh, SD kit. And you can also probably, and also works with the uh, 1 slash 144 scale high grade kit, by the way and also works with any LBX kit so you get uh, yourself a cheap uh, I don't know, action base that has articulation too of obviously if the kit is heavy you would have to tape this thing down or glue it down to a, let's say a, like a small cardboard box or some kind of uh, wood or something but either way you have a very cheap uh, action base from your junk parts so those of you that collect Revoltech toy would know what I'm talking about. They probably have all these things running around all over the place. So now you have a good use for these. So as you can see, yeah, it works. You have 360 degree. You can connect it here, 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 whatever. So yeah, you got a cheap. I don't know. This is just my idea. Um, yeah, if you guys have any uh, better idea or. You guys know how to make a cheap action base 
let me know in the comment section below. I'm really interested because I have way too many kit and I don't have enough action base and it costs like after shipping and everything costs about ten dollar or eight dollar a piece for a Bandai action base and it's not feasible because I could be buying actual kit with that money. So anyway, uh, let me know. So this is going to be my first series in dollar store uh, Gunplot tools. So thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. See you on the next video. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I forgot to even show you guys that if it works or not. I got sidetracked. So let's find out. I'm doing this with my one hand, so just bear with me here. Wow, as you can see, it goes on to the plastic very well, and this, since this is a permanent marker, it probably dries really fast too. So, the, yeah, if you live in Canada, I don't know if you can get this in state, I'm pretty sure uh, you can. It came from Dollarama, obviously, a dollar store here in Canada, it's a chain store. Um, wow, this works really good. And much cheaper than Gundam Marker. It's 50 cents. And you can get it from any dollar store pretty much. I might just go out and buy a whole bunch. Wow. Perfect. So. Let's try the silver one now. Other side. the gold one worked obviously the silver one should work it's kinda hard to see because it's a gray on silver but my silver on gray but yeah as you can see it works so that's awesome yeah perfect thumbs up thank you for watching bye